Welcome guys, slight hangover, Sunday, extremely warm again here in Germany and today I'll do like a, a short story time segment, not heading over to the studio, no DJing, no music production. Today it's about me being already over 10 years in the music business and sometimes things go, go wrong. And I personally sometimes forget about these things like the the horrible stuff some of them i will never ever forget but my girlfriend vanessa she's really good in remembering all the shitty things yeah, am i <laughs> yes is it a nice thing to say or yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's good you remind good me for you <laughs> no every time i want to do something new vanessa reminds me that i've maybe sometimes already done that mistake okay. what would you say was like the the worst thing ever in my career yeah, well, the thing you've been like overly excited with, your management. Oh yeah, the management incident. So let's maybe start with that, that part. Yeah, that really hurt. So the, the management thing, I think it was like four years ago, I signed with the management due to them having a really good reputation but that reputation was 10 years old and first it went quite all right but after three months i noticed they didn't do anything for me and i was signed to them they got a share of whatever i made so they basically just waited for me to make something my own and then just take a cut which was quite annoying and getting out of that contract was actually the bigger story my lawyer told me the only way to get out of it earlier than three years is to annoy them so much that they actually want me to drop out of the contract and that actually worked I did it for a couple of months I just annoyed them every day asked them why they didn't do this and that and that acted really strange and then they all of a sudden said you know what it's maybe better if we split and separate and um, void the contract annoying times because i didn't really know what to do and like if, if you have someone where you think that they help you and they don't you kind of lose a lot of time because you focus more on music making they should focus on the business stuff but if they don't do it it usually takes time until you notice so uh really really annoying cost me at least a year of time and advancing but uh, also had some positive signs. Due to that incident, I actually started my own label, managed myself fully, I was way more dedicated and it actually worked out. So try always when you're in a negative situation to make the best out of it, turn it around, gain new motivation and just start all over again. It, it will somehow work out. And whenever you sign a contract, do way more background information. Signing a song is fine if you do a mistake, it's just that one song, but signing your entire career to another company for three years, background check them. Because um, the guys that made it big, that gave that company that big reputation, didn't anymore work there. And only the people <laughs> were left that didn't do anything. Anything else you remember? Big mistakes? Yeah, once you started that vlog. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Actually, like starting the vlog was maybe the best like in my career because it motivates me like sharing publicly what I do. It's kind of ther therapeutic, you know what I mean. I can't pronounce it, but uh, it motivates me. I have to make sure to just do and be active because I'm sharing it every day. There is no time for doing nothing. Even today on a hangover day, going outside and sharing my story. You remember anything I did with Gordon? Well, yeah, but we're very young. Oh, oh, I have one. Okay. Big FM? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Big FM. Uh, another huge mistake. <laughs> yeah, really big one. <laughs> um, big FM is like a radio station in Germany. I'd say it's one of the biggest, like at least by numbers. And they asked me to do a show, like a weekly DJ set plus interview plus DJ set by another famous DJ. So I personally basically um, produced 10 episodes. We had, for example, Robin Schulz, Alle Farben, Oliver Kuletsky, like good DJs, like famous. And I did everything myself. I produced the entire thing in my studio and just sent them the finished episodes to air them on the radio every week. And obviously I was supposed to be getting paid the guy running everything was like just just started 
and I'll make sure you get paid in a fair way. And I was stupid enough to trust him and I was really hyped and motivated to do it because being on radio is like quite a big thing. And so I produced like 10 episodes, talked about him, about payment. And he was like, uh, no, you're not getting paid, like no payment. I then again contacted a lawyer. He told me I should just write him an invoice because for producing the entire thing, I need to get paid by law. I, I have like a right to get paid for work. And the best part was then uh, his reaction. He sent me back an invoice over, uh, I think 12 to 15,000 euros for me using his frequency, using his spot on the radio. So he charged me for airing it on the radio, which was like insane. But assholes, are, there are plenty in the music industry. So there was unfortunately nothing I could really do, lesson learned. Um, yeah, that was quite the big mistake. Um, never again working without knowing upfront what will happen, how to get paid. I was young, desperate and just heard radio and wanted to do it. I also learned a ton, but not getting paid is always very shitty. Beer? No beer? Ice cream? <laughs> there are actually a million more things that happened to me from not getting paid from labels, people screwing you, not like contracts, don't caring about it. I used to organize events and like lost a lot of money due to being stupid and also just some bad luck. And then all of the bad stuff as a DJ, not getting paid for gigs, um, gigs rescheduled, getting fired from residencies, um, people paying less, not paying at all, equipment destroyed, seeing people in the audience fighting, throwing glass, beating up each other until the ambulance has to show up a lot of weird stuff. Drug abuse, heavy, heavy, heavy drug abuse, uh, toilets and clubs, <laughs> always, <laughs> always wild stuff going on. Um, I've seen a lot, I've experienced a lot, a lot of bad things, a lot, like really a lot. It's a really tough business. As a music producer and DJ, trying to like sustain a living and make money with it, and fighting against everyone else that is also fighting in this industry. And let's be honest, a lot of people just think of themselves, which I can't really understand, because if you help someone else and they're better off, it will make you better off, because they will probably return that favor if they're nice guys. But even if not, if like your surrounding is better off, it will also lift yourself. So be nice to each other. If you agree to a contract and stick to it, if you do a handshake deal, stick to it, don't screw people. They will screw you back or you will have a bad reputation because this entire music scene is still fairly small. Everyone knows everyone somehow. So whenever nowadays I'm working with someone together, I first ask four or five other people that already know them if it's okay and cool to work with them together. And another factor was when I started out, I was like a little desperate. I, I just want so much to do music production and DJing that I would take any deal, which is sometimes stupid. Be patient, check again if everything is all right. And I know most of these stories and events happening to me are, are kind of negative, but at the end, every single event, I'm happy that it happened, even if it hurts while it's going on. But every single time I just like try to get over it, make the best of it. And I came out stronger on the other end, a lot stronger. And I think I wouldn't be where I am right now without having all of these bad experiences because none of these ever happened to me a second time. You, you learn and you advance. And I think the biggest thing I've learned is that you just have to take care of the things yourself. If you want to have good releases out there, start your own label. That's what I did and it's working out great. If you want to have gigs, then start taking care of getting your bookings. If you want your music to perform really great out there, start doing your own promotion. Like if you do it yourself, you have way more control just make sure that the music is good enough because otherwise you're doing all of that for nothing because music first, always most important. But um, yeah, especially at the beginning, 
do the things yourself. Get yourself to a certain point where you're strong enough and like established enough and then maybe either employ people or get people to manage you, help you with the label, but make sure that those are the right people. I think it's also always wise if you start working with someone together, just start out with small things. For example, if, if a label is interested in one of your songs, tell them, hey, yes, that's fine, but let's maybe start with me doing a remix for one of your artists. And then while you do the remix, you know how reliable they are, how much they keep their promises. If they tell you it will be released in September and it's going to be released in September, you know that's already like, like stuff you can work with. And then maybe a song, then maybe an EP, then maybe an album. Don't start with an album. Like, that's way, way too risky. Anyways, guys, I hope, I hope you enjoyed these insights. Let me know about what happened to you, like the worst thing, being part of the music business industry thing. What is the worst that happened to you where you like just couldn't believe it? For me, definitely that radio station, because it's a big radio station. They make a lot of money, didn't pay me, and then even wanted to make me pay them for my work for them, which is like insane by German law. Like the, the, the frequencies are given to the station um, from the government and they're not allowed to sell someone else spots on that show except for advertisement that has to be like specially marked and my show wasn't. So that guy just like, just tried to piss me off. Anyways, thanks all for watching. See you again tomorrow back in the studio, music making for the entire day.